Good morning, you guys, or good afternoon, depending on when you're watching this. I decided to do like a prep video for you guys on what we got at the grocery store and how we are prepping for the COVID-19 as the coronavirus. Uh, things are escalating pretty fast and everybody is panicking, including myself. I'm not really worried about the virus itself. I'm worried about the shortage. So, and like truck deliveries coming in. So, that's that. Um, obviously, I'm worried about the virus. Like, I don't want to get sick. I don't want my girls to get sick. We are already isolating ourselves. <laughs> we have been for a few days. Uh, and I decided to go out after I put the girls down for bedtime two days ago. I wasn't shopping for this whole thing. I actually just ran in to get formula and saw the panic and I felt like it was a zombie apocalypse honestly and just so by the way everybody was reacting and just nobody would look at you and was just like crazy like diving for the shelves grabbing what they could and it kind of put me like it gave me such anxiety and I was like oh my god should I be getting stuff I didn't think like I've never seen anything like this happen in our country so I just like was like maybe I should be getting stuff and then I noticed everything was out like Okay, it's gonna look like I'm sounding a little bit ridiculous because I got stuff, but I went to five different stores to get this stuff, only because I was panicking now because I saw everybody else. Now I know you shouldn't react, and this is why it's so bad because everybody's feeding off of each other. But I have kids I need to take care of, and they come first. So I'm going to make sure my kids don't starve, and that's that, so any negativity can go somewhere else. Like I said, I went to several stores and this is all I could pretty much get that I needed. There is one thing that I could not get. I ordered it online and I just and I just got the email that they're canceling it because I can't fulfill it. So I'm kind of freaking out about that because it's diapers and I only have like 15 diapers left. Um, the state next to me is going to go on possible lockdown pretty soon where like just everything's going to be shut down. Um, and I'm in New York so it's probably going to happen because New York has a lot of cases right now and I think they were saying that it grew faster than California did since we got the test. So I am preparing for lockdown uh, and this is all I can get, but this is fine. I think this was plenty with the diaper situation. I don't know what we're gonna do about that. We're gonna have to get real creative here, but that's fine. We can get creative. We all have to go through it. So I'll show you guys what I got. Okay, so this is just like a quick glance of everything that I got. So first, I got dog food. This is not nearly enough for a couple, for a few weeks. We were told to prep for eight weeks and this is not enough at all, at all, because they go through two cans a day. So I need to get more, but this is all they had left in the store. And I got some Windex. Since we can't go anywhere, I am going to be deep cleaning my house, doing a nice spring cleaning, and then maybe we're gonna be doing some like, you know, painting. You know, we have to do stuff in the house only. So we're gonna just, I'm gonna be cleaning a lot more, like deep cleaning. Um, I use this pretty often, but this was so hard to get. Um, I ended up going to Home Depot to get this because the stores were completely out. I got, this is like my floor cleaner that I use like every week and I got some bleed. I did need to do like a grocery shop, but like you'll see some stuff I kind of got in bulk just in case we are on lockdown for two months because the schools here did shut down until the end of April. So it's kind of scary that 
that's happening. I mean, it's good that they're taking the precautions that they need to prevent it from spreading, but it's just scary when like this is really happening. Um, these were on sale. So I got three of them because Mackenzie loves like apple juice and all this. So it was really cheap. So I got three of those and okay, so formula. Uh, Scarlet's on really cheap formula and this stuff is already hard to get when um, there isn't a crisis going on. <laughs> uh, they only ever usually have three in the store. So when I saw that they had this many, I grabbed them. It's the Price Chopper brand and it's like $19 for a huge tub. She has no problem with this formula. So I'm very, very happy that I'm able to get a cheap formula for her, but yeah, I grabbed everyone because I don't know. If the schools are really shut down until the end of April, then we could be on like a state lockdown with even the stores and everything. Like we can't leave our house. So my baby comes first. I had to make sure she had her food. I usually buy two anyway, so it's really not that much different. I got five. She goes through one and a half of these in a week. So really, it's only a few weeks worth. Okay, so I also got pads for my Swiffer. These were the only wipes that are left and they're three packs. So there's only six of them. Uh, and I have no more wipes left at home. So we'll see how that works out, <laughs> um, which is fine because I could always get towels and stuff and wipe her if I have to. Um, and then I got some paper towels and <sighs> toilet paper. The famous toilet paper that everybody's freaking out over. Um, I actually was really, really out of toilet paper. I have two rolls left in my house. And if we are on a lockdown, two rolls won't be enough. We'll need like at least 10 more for two months. So if that, I don't even know. I never really counted how many rolls we use in a month. I know I don't buy it often, that's for sure. But we were only like, we only had two more left. So we definitely needed more but the struggle to find a toilet paper was insane i had to find it at home depot and it was the last one at home depot and that's why i got a 30 pack because it was the last one there was no smaller packs so i think i'm gonna be good for like six months on toilet paper uh, yeah but also my family i don't know if i have a pretty large family so if they need any like i have some to supply for them too so I got a thing of milk, which I only got one because they go bad pretty fast. So I don't want to overstock on that. Got eggs, two things of eggs. We go through them a lot. I got dish soap because we really needed that. Um, peanut butter in case anything, like we are really stuck for a while. You can always survive off of peanut butter and jelly. Um, some pasta sauce. And this was all of the meat left in the store. I grabbed every package that I could, which was only one ground package, one package of ground beef burgers, one package of chicken. I'm not kidding you guys, there was nothing left. Um, uh, a roast, uh, some sausages and hot dogs. So I'm going to freeze some of it. I got cereal, as you can see, we already opened one of them. But I got, these were on sale. So I got Cookie Crisp, Corn Checks, Fiber One, and Cheerios. I got a thing of pancakes because we can also survive off of this for quite a while. Um, flour so I can make like bread if I have to or just homemade stuff, snacks and all of that. Sugar for our coffee and the baked goods I'll make. Um, I got some butter for my baking, some coffee because we go through this like crazy. Um, we can make some wraps for lunch, dinner, breakfast, anything. Some parmesan, ragu sauce, some creamer, some heavy cream because that's what my husband uses for his coffee, some syrup, potatoes because they last a long time, more potatoes rice because you can live off of rice rice is life um <laughs> apples um medicines for scarlet and mackenzie some pastas some mac and cheese some box brownies and cake i got some bread 
um, some dry dog food, and some just like canned items, tuna fish, chicken. So that was everything that I was able to get my hands on. The flour was most important to me and the eggs because you can make homemade stuff and really like bread. You can eat bread, you know, to survive and the canned stuff we really aren't a fan of. I know when it comes down to like surviving, you gotta eat what you gotta eat, but I don't know, I'm really not a fan. <laughs> so I decided I'll just keep baking and I know one thing of flour isn't enough, but I know I have like two in my pantry already, so we'll be okay. So everything that I was able to get my hands on, I was really shocked on how wiped out the stores were and they keep getting truckloads in and they're just not able to even get them get things onto the shelf fast enough it's just wild you guys and it's just frightening because you don't know because the shipment soon is gonna stop like they're not gonna be able to get stuff because it's selling out so fast it's just scary when you have kids to take care of and you have to worry about other bodies to feed. It'll be okay, except the only thing I worry about is the diaper situation. I just can't believe that they're all pretty much wiped out. The wipes, we can really like just use one wipe, really use it, you know, like, I think, I don't know. I think this is an eye opener on America, so we don't like waste stuff so much. Like now you're gonna be very cautious on what you're wasting, what you're throwing away, you know, like extra food when, you know, leftovers from dinner, like you're gonna eat all your leftovers now because now you're in a panic and you're gonna use everything to the last bit and you're gonna just learn how to do that. And I think that's a really good thing for me. Yeah, we're all ready for this isolation. Like I said, we've been isolating ourselves for a few days now and I don't plan on leaving. I am gonna stay at home and do stuff to my house. I'm gonna really just spring clean and like take care of the house, you know, instead of having to like run out and do errands. Like we're gonna just chill. And I think that's also a good thing for America um, is to just relax, take care of yourself. You know, like this should be a time for you to just take care of yourself, work out. Put on uh, YouTube and put on some workout videos, you know, like just take this time for yourself and really, really spend time with your kids. Like I know a lot of people are busy with work, but now it's like you have to be home. Maybe this is a good thing or to be home with your family and all that. Like really spending time on things that you didn't have the time for before. Um, you know, like even if it was just cleaning out a room that that you've really been thinking about but you work and you just couldn't get to it. It's just do it now. Do it while you are stuck in the house. Like now is your time to just take care of things you wanted to take care of but you couldn't before. So that, that that's all I have to say. Or that's my little rant for the day. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of everything that I got for the prep of coronavirus known as COVID-19. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.